Welcome back to the floor of the CME Group here in Chicago, Wednesday, December 8th. Let's talk about this market. You know, it's just a resilient market. This morning, the S&P, you know, after everything has kind of went on yesterday, you know, they tested that 12.35, they came off, they broke it down, basically unchanged on the day, but that's become the new norm. The new norm is unchanged, or that is our downside. So this morning, they went up to 28 in the SPU, they tested that, it failed, went down to 19, and it caught a bid, it's right now at unchanged. So I think there's a couple things moving here in the market. The interest rates have been going wild. I talked about that yesterday, that HFT alligator, chomp. It got everybody chomped yesterday and just did the death roll, went straight down. The bond went down four points yesterday. It's down another point today. This market is moving, interest rates flying up. The 10 year, above three and a quarter. I was just talking last week about the 3% level in the 10 year. So we have interest rates moving. Now, there, there's reason to be concerned there when those interest rates move that quickly. It, there's something going on that maybe we don't understand. So is the Fed going to back off on the QE2? Are they confident? Or is this just a reaction to the market? Because look at it. When Uncle Sam last week, they were buying. The market made Uncle Sam buy the high tick. They ran those bonds up. They front ran the market. Well, guess what? We've had three days of auction. Today's a 10-year auction. Tomorrow, a 30-year auction. So guess what? They slammed it. The death roll down. And now they're going to make Uncle Sam sell it at the low. So Friday, I bet you we're going to be up. Price of bonds, 10-year, 30-year across the curve will be up on Friday. So watch that. Be mindful here. There's still more room to run, I think, on the downside. It's like catching a falling knife, so be careful. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the spoo. You know, I, I've gone back to this 12.12 level. You know, the actual weekly pivot is coming in at 12.07. So be mindful of that, but nothing is really going to happen until we get under 12.16. We've gone down to this 12.16, gone down to 12.18 and it doesn't want to go through. So Bears, I'm sorry, but the Bulls got you pinned. You're pinned in the corner right now. And it looks like they want to run you above that 35 level to 54. I personally think it's overextended. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to break through, but I don't know what the catalyst will be to get to that downside. Um, you know, it's hard to you know, know these levels, trade agnostically, but you have to be mindful of these levels because if it does get back above 28, they are going to try and test it. They, they've tested every level, and to use a vernacular, of Dr. J, it's a heat-seeking missile. However, the Grinch is peeking through the window, so be mindful of that. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, Euro currency. You know, the Euro currency uh, overnight at a 131.79 range to 132.80. You know, I've spoke uh, a couple times this 132.61. That's the weekly pivot. This morning, you know, they broke all the way down, came right back to that pivot, gave you an opportunity to sell it again, came off again. So the currency, weak right now, almost down a penny on the day. We'll see how the, the day turns out, but things in Europe, there's been no certainty over there. I, I don't know what's going on uh, with all these different countries, but I know one thing for sure, the interest is growing on the debt. So be mindful of that. Um, you know, I, I think the treasury market is dictating where everything is going right now. So watch the treasuries. We have two more days of auction. Uncle Sam's going to sell the low tick, be certain of that. From the killer, from Treasury Curve, Treasury Curve, Institutional Money Market Portal, we assist firms in overnight cash. Remember, be the hammer, not the nail.